Hi, my name is Piotr Walczyszyn. I'm an Adobe Developer Evangelist. And with this short video tutorial, I would like to show you how you can create your custom uh, skins for a skinable container component. Um, OK, so uh, we'll, build in, we'll build that skin with ActionScript so it can work uh, well on uh, mobile devices like tablets or mobile phones. Uh, I have here a sample project, which is just an empty mobile a flex mobile project and I'll start with uh, creating new skin uh, so I'll create file new in this case action script class and I'll put it in a skins package uh, let's give it a name mm, rounded corners skin and we in this case we want to extend a, a skin able container skin that comes with in the mobile uh, package. All right, finish. So as you can see, it generates uh, an empty class here. So now in order to implement uh, the logic for my uh, skin, I need to go to source, override implement methods, and I'll select uh, three methods that I want to override from the base component. Uh, so in this case, it will be create children, uh, draw background, and layout contents. All right, once I have it done, uh, I will also create a new folder under my skins uh, package. So file new package. I'll call it assets, and that's the place where I'll put my FXG file with the background graphics that I want to use in my uh, skinable container. And I already prepared the FXG graphics, and I'll just copy and paste it here. There we go. Now, I have the graphics, so let's try to use it. I'll create a placeholder for my FXG object, so it will be private variable here. Let's call it background. And we want to use sprite visual element type. All right. Now, in create children uh, function, uh, I will instantiate this background FXG. So background equals new. And in this case, it will be the name of my FXG file. So it's a skinable container background. All right. There we go. And the last thing in the create children function, I need to add that uh, background to the display list. So I just use the standard add child uh, function here. Background, there we go. So we create a new instance and now we can uh, place it uh, in a proper position. So we want to place it in a X and Y coordinates zero, zero. Uh, so we have to go to the layout contents uh, function and we can use uh, keep the layout contents uh, super uh, uh, invocation on the mm, base component. And first thing we want to do, we want to uh, call a set element position. This is a helper function that comes uh, with skinable container skin and also mobile skins. And now we want to pass the background object here and specify the x and y coordinates so it will be zero, 00 in my case. Now, the next thing, I want to specify the, the size of the component or size of, in this case, of my background. So I want it to be like 100% wide and high. So again, we, I'll use another set element size helper function, specifying, of course, the, uh, the background object here. And I'll use the unscaled width and unscaled height that are passed to my layout contents function here. Unscaled height. So uh, it will position and uh, size my uh, background properly. Uh, one last thing I want to do here, uh, I want to get uh, rid of the, the default behavior of the uh, skinable container skin, which draws a, just a simple rectangle or background. So if you, I go to the uh, base class, I can see there is um, uh, draw graphics used to draw uh, just a simple container. So I want to get rid of that so I just can 
blank out this uh, function here. All right, so we're ready, almost ready to go. Uh, let's switch back to the uh, MXML. Uh, let's declare skinable container here. Uh, let's uh, position it 10 pixels from the left, uh, 10 pixels from the top of the screen, same thing for right, uh, and bottom. And now we can declare the skin class, which we just created. So uh, it's in the skins. Uh, we can use the, actually by name, rounded corner skin declaration here. And that's it. Now, if you want to uh, add like a child components, you just do it inside of the skinable container element here. And let's add a label with text course, hello world. And let's position that label um, vertical center to zero, so it centers uh, the label uh, inside of the container. And horizontal center to zero. All right, so now we can try to run it. And let's select a device. Let's say, yeah, Galaxy Tab here, debug. So you can see um, it created a, a simple mobile application with a nice uh, rounded rectangle uh, inside and also the Hello World um, uh, label in it. All right, so that's as you can see, creating your own and custom uh, skins uh, for skinable containers is very simple. And if you want to learn more, you can go to ADC. And there's a lot of valuable resources around uh, mobile skins uh, and also ActionScript skins. Thank you very much, and bye.